You are Locked On Syracuse, your daily podcast on the Syracuse Orange, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. So Quadier Copeland is taking his talents elsewhere, and this is a tough pill to swallow for Syracuse. And how is this team going to replace a guy like Quadier Copeland? We're going to get all into it here on Locked On Syracuse. I'm Jackson Holzer, and thank you for making us your first listen of every single day here on the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel. Make every moment more. New customers join today, and you'll get $200 in bonus bets if your first bet of $5 or more wins. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on to get started. So what is Syracuse going to miss from a guy like Quadier Copeland who really developed this season? His freshman year, he... Only played about nine minutes a game, scored two points a game, didn't do all that particularly much. And he didn't fully blossom, but he certainly carved out a role for this season. He should have been the sixth man of the year. I stand by that take because he was a true sixth man. How do you replace a guy like Quadir Copeland, and it goes beyond the numbers. Goes beyond the numbers with a guy like him. He averaged a little less than 10 points a game. He averaged about five assists a game, and, you know, that's all fine and dandy. The passion, the energy that he played with, the cool, exciting moments that he brought to us. Every time you were watching Quadir Copeland, it was like you were going to the circus. Because whether it was good or bad, it was entertaining. You cannot deny that he might have been the most entertaining player on Syracuse this season, and he was a good one too. And whichever team gets Quadir Copeland, they're getting a good one. They really are. This... It's difficult. I did not envision that Copeland would be in the portal. And the reasoning for that was because I thought that Judah Mintz was going to leave. And he still might. We don't know. Could he possibly stay? We don't know. This is the transfer portal. Everything happens quickly. Some things maybe take a little bit of time. But it's a very fluid situation. That's my point. That was the word I was searching for. Not quick. Fluid. And if Judah left, then I thought Quadier Copeland had the inside track to potentially be the starting point guard for next season. And when you factor being the starting point guard, maybe a third-year leap. I know I've talked about going to Vegas and getting that extra NIL money. I thought Copeland whether I thought he was ready or not, was going to be the starting point guard for next season. And that's just not going to be the case anymore. This episode is brought to you by the spring cleaning champions, Manscaped. This season, make sure to groom your carpets and the drapes with the leaders in below the waist grooming. Clear out that winter bush with Manscaped's Lawn Mower 5.0 and watch your confidence bloom like the springtime flowers. Embrace the season. Enjoy the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. With our special offer, go to manscaped.com and use code LOCKEDON for 20% off plus free shipping. Introducing the season's champ, the Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra. Their fifth generation trimmer features two interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top, and a new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires. 
It also features dual LED spotlights to guide you through the darkest winter debris. Navigate with confidence in your delicate areas. Hate making a mess? Not to worry. This bad boy is waterproof. Shave in the shower, in the bath, or in the ocean. I love this thing because it comes with a compact case. I take it with me everywhere I go. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code locked on at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code locked on at manscaped.com. Nothing like a little spring cleaning in your pants. This week's March Madness Bracket Highlight is brought to you by our friends at Nissan. Each week, we're picking one team that stands out, a team that's pushed it further than the rest. Just like any of the all-new 2024 Nissan SUVs, these guys were able to take it to the next level. The Oakland Golden Grizzlies are obviously this week's Nissan Rogue. The team absolutely surprised us all with a powerful performance in the first round upset against the Kentucky Wildcats giving them their biggest win in program history. They say win life, go rogue, and that's exactly what the Golden Grizzlies have done here. Take the Nissan Rogue, Nissan Pathfinder, or Nissan Armada and go find your next big adventure. Shop NissanUSA.com. I guess you could come back from the transfer portal. You can come back. And I think most of us would welcome him back. But judging from what he posted on his Instagram and how he's basically thanking the fans and everything on Twitter, I don't think that he's coming back. I think we have seen the last of Quadir Copeland in an orange uniform. Gonna miss the passion. The energy. I was on the floor for the North Carolina game. And just the way that he interacted with the fans even during the game. I mean, he's staring at everyone on the floor. Hyping everyone up. I remember towards the end of the game, during the free throws, he was going like this. For those that are listening, I'm kind of patting down both of my hands. Trying to tell everyone to just relax. Such a fun and exciting player to watch, to cover. And who can forget his best moment, maybe of his entire basketball career, but certainly in an orange uniform, the game-winning shot from the left wing to beat Miami in what might be the highlight of the season. If not, it's certainly top three. It was an incredible shot. And I think that was the moment where, at least for my sake, I thought that Copeland had arrived. I thought he arrived when he hit that shot against Miami. He was a spark plug off the bench. Yeah, guys, I, I have to I have to be straight with you. I don't know how you replace a guy like Quadir Copeland beyond the numbers. I think you can go into the portal and find someone who averages 10 points a game. You can go into the portal and find someone who averages five assists a game. I don't think Syracuse can go into the portal and find a guy who can come off the bench, be get a vote for ACC Defensive Player of the Year and just provide that energy and that passion that for a lot of the season, Syracuse didn't really have. The point that I'm getting at is he was a heart and soul type of player. He was a glue guy type of player. And you don't just find those guys off the scrap heap. You don't. You don't. I wish Quadir Copeland nothing but the best. I hope that he's making the best decision for himself. And by the way, this goes for everyone who's coming in, who's leaving. Time and place for criticism. Quadir Copeland. So long, my friend. Now, 
How does Syracuse attempt to replace a guy like Whittier Copeland? Thank you for watching this edition of Segment of the Week. To catch the podcast this segment came from, click here. To subscribe to the channel, click here. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, everyone.